It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Wednesday, the 10th of February. I'm James Spann. Most of Alabama will stay in a spring-like air mass today with highs up around 70. Rain returns tomorrow. Colder air creeps in. Over the weekend, we're watching for any potential for freezing rain, but for now, it looks like at least through Sunday, the better chance of that will be north of here. But let's dive into it and talk about it. This is the upper air look, your classic winter mischief pattern. The polar vortex is setting up over Canada. Underneath that, a very active southern branch of the jet stream with a series of waves. You can see one well-defined wave that's southwest of Phoenix. That was the radar this morning, a little before 5 o'clock. Uh, some light rain, maybe some freezing rain over northwest Tennessee and southern Kentucky. Our friends there are gearing up for a significant ice storm in coming days, which is the last thing you want. Temperatures this morning are mostly in the 40s, a few pockets with 30s. Pell City 37, Birmingham 43, but again, we'll be up there close to 70 today with a mix of sun and clouds. Here's the watch warning map. Messy winter weather problems all the way from north Texas up into parts of Maryland, Delaware, southern New Jersey. The ice storm warning remains in effect for parts of eastern Arkansas, northwest Tennessee, southeast Missouri, the southern tip of Illinois, and much of Kentucky, the uh, shades of maroon. And surrounding that, those are winter weather advisories. And we do note down here there's a dense fog advisory. That fog will dissipate by mid-morning. That's for the southern half of the state. But the good news, no severe weather expected in advance of the front. This is the severe weather outlook today, tomorrow, and on Friday. Now, clearly some thunder uh, possible south of that front, but the better shear is north of the front in the colder air. Here's the rain for the next seven days. A lot down here for Alabama. Rain amounts generally between one and a half and two and a half inches. And this is valid through Wednesday morning of next week. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. The 06C run valid today at three. Again, the vortex over Canada, active southern stream, a strong, a strong shortwave south of Phoenix. And for us, I think most of the state dry, much like yesterday. A mix of sun and clouds, highs 67 to 70. And again, icing beginning to develop north of the state. This is tomorrow. Rain likely, maybe some thunder for Alabama. And again, a really messy ice situation that it could include Memphis and Little Rock up into southern Kentucky. This is the expected ice accumulation coming off the high res NAM. And those are some pretty big numbers. Uh, goodness, I mean, I see 1.15 at Memphis. You don't even want to go there. Uh, that would be just horrific if that happens and the weather service is not going that aggressive in their forecast but still this could create widespread power outages and major travel impacts so if you're traveling north of here be aware of that so this is friday uh, cloudy colder highs drop in the 40s and again uh, there could be some light rain at times friday especially for the southern half of the state now this is saturday morning at six o'clock and we'll have rain Friday night into Saturday morning. The question is, could we see some freezing rain over the Tennessee Valley? This is the GFS, but the European solution is warmer. And you can see it's got just rain here. And I think it's just done better with this. The GFS has been all over the board. The European has been much more consistent. It tends to do better in the medium range. So for now, Saturday statewide, we're just forecasting rain at times. And again, it's going to be a cold rain with uh, temperatures in the 40s. For Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, 30s probably for the Tennessee Valley. Then by Saturday afternoon, the bulk of that rain is on to the east. We we'll go to Sunday, we're dry and probably pretty cold. The question is how cold? So again, let's look at modeling here. This is the GFS. It's got 20 at Muscle Shoals, 28 for Birmingham. This is the European. It's much warmer. 35 in the Shoals, 46 in Birmingham. So again, there's just no consistency in the modeling here. And this is why your forecast on your app and all these websites, these automated forecasts just change immediately. But again, I just think based on the thermal values and what we're seeing here, we're, we're not going to have ice issues in Alabama this weekend, which is good. So let's go to Monday. Here comes the next wave off to the west. And what will that thing do Monday night? So this is the GFS Monday night at midnight. And it's got some nasty icing over much of Mississippi, even Louisiana. Sleet over western Tennessee with rain for Alabama. This is the European, kind of a similar idea. It's got uh, freezing rain over Tennessee and points north. But really, both models are suggesting the bulk of this Monday night of next week will be in the form of rain for Alabama. I mean, we're dodging bullets. We are so close to having freezing rain problems. Not snow, but freezing rain. And obviously, this is you know, what's five, six days out. This could easily change. So this is Tuesday of next week, 
and you see troughing north and west of the state, and that system is on by. Now, after that, the next system, Thursday night of next week, the 18th, and the GFS trying to spit out some snow across north Alabama, and this is nothing but voodoo at this point. This is 10 days out. This is Friday the 20th, troughing onto the east, and we are cold and dry. This is the snow output for Birmingham. And understand all these close calls with wintry weather. We're not talking snow. We're talking freezing rain. This is basically suggesting no meaningful chance of snow for Birmingham for the next 15 days here. And rain, though, yeah, a lot. The mean between 3 and 4 inches between now and the 24th of February. And this is off the National Blend of Models. And it's done pretty darn good with this complex pattern. And you can see it really keeps the bitterly cold Arctic air north of here. Just north of here, but if this verifies for Birmingham, highs in the 40s, lows in the 30s, maybe down to 30 by Tuesday and Wednesday morning of next week. Could this change? Absolutely. But again, the uh, NBM has done pretty well with this. And the CPC outlook, this is for the 17th through the 23rd, showing temperatures here once again below average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3 o'clock this afternoon. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.